Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at a few of the freebie characters that come with the Character Creator Connector, and how you can use them in your Omniverse scene. You can see these characters all on the screen together right now. There is a nondescript looking worker, a character named Deborah who is sporting a bodysuit, and our trusty looking orc character, who is armed to the teeth. Let's start off by launching a new scene via Omniverse Create. Under the local host, NVIDIA, Assets, Characters Reillusion folder path, you will find the three freebie characters I just showed. In that Reillusion folder, you'll find three folders that each contain their respective character files, as well as a README file. Let's use Omniverse Drive in order to get these files to our local host. From there, we can go to the same directory structure using Explore, and then open up the README file briefly, where you can read all of the license agreement information. Exciting! I've loaded up a scene here that you can find in the sample projects of the NVIDIA folder. And next I'm going to bring in our first USD, Debra. We can do so by simply clicking and dragging her USD in from the Debra folder. Looking pretty good so far. You'll notice that there's a camera in this scene, which we can switch to by going up to the perspective menu on the top left of our viewport. To see the motion set to this USD, you can simply press the play button and Debra will do a little idle motion for us. Now in your character folder, there's a lot more than just the main USD file for Debra. You'll also find various material folders that contain all of the texture maps for the character, her hair, as well as various clothing items. There is also a motion folder that contains, you guessed it, the motions that this character can perform. To change the motion that is already set to the main character USD file, you'll need to find Debra's skeleton in the main stage hierarchy. Once you have it selected, you can then go down to the References section and click and drag any other motion into the Asset Path field. If we play back now, we can see that Debra will perform the different idle that we just set. Let's try that one more time, only this time with a bit more of a dynamic motion, the Heroin Arrogant USD. You can see that this one is a lot less subtle. You will also find a Props folder under Debra's main folder. Don't be fooled though, this folder doesn't contain props in the traditional iClone sense, but rather a bone subfolder that contains the individual animation bone data with no mesh, as well as a mesh subfolder that contains all of the mesh data, but no bones. You can see if I click and drag in this catsuit USD, it will show up as just that, the mesh of the catsuit outfit. Same thing with these boots as well. Everything can be imported into your scene and moved around and manipulated just like any regular old prop. Finally, in the main prop subfolder under Debra's main folder, you'll find USD files for each of the motions. The naming convention is the mesh name plus the motion. If you click and drag one of these in, you'll find that it's simply the same character mesh, only it is set to animate to that specific motion now. Each freebie character contains their own set of motions, so you can feel free to explore the other ones on your own time. On the main Omniverse and Character Creator landing page, you can find tons more resources that will allow you to create and customize your own unique characters. You can also access thousands of motions through ActorCore that are fully compatible with Omniverse as well. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to check out our other Omniverse tutorials to learn more about this awesome tool and how you can use it with Character Creator.